Let's go over an example of calculating the amount of rewards earned by a user using this equation. Here's the graph of amount of tokens staked over some time period. For this example, we'll say that Alice stakes 100 token at 3 second, at 5 second Bob stakes 200, at 6 Carol stakes 100, at 9 Alice withdraws her 100, and at 10 Carol stakes an additional 100 tokens. At 11 Bob withdraws his 200, and at 13 Carol withdraws her 200 tokens. Every time a user, either Alice, Bob, or Carol, stakes or withdraws, we'll need to calculate this value. To make our life easier, we'll introduce some variables. We'll define reward per token at time j. r0 is equal to 0, and for time greater than 0, we'll say rj is equal to the sum from i equals 0 to j minus 1, summing the terms r divided by t of i, where t of i is the total stake that time i. Now, if the total stake that time i is equal to 0, then we'll just say this term is equal to 0. What we're doing here is defining this part of the equation for each second. However, instead of calculating this formula, we'll use this formula that we have derived in the previous video. And just for a review, when t of i is equal to some constant t, let's say for the duration j of 0 to j, then we can write this formula rj to be equal to rj of 0, so the reward per token evaluated at j of 0, plus r divided by t times the duration j minus j 0. Okay, so let's go over an example of calculating rewards earned by each user. On the left in blue, we'll list the time at which a user either staked or withdrew the tokens. On the right of this white vertical line, we'll calculate rj for each second. Now, every time a user deposits or withdraws their token, we'll have to keep track of this part of the formula for each user. So, we'll keep track of user reward per token pay on the right. And anytime the amount of tokens staked by each user changes, we'll calculate the amount of rewards earned by that user. At the very bottom, we'll keep track of amount of rewards earned by each user. Okay, let's get started. At time zero, what is reward per token? By definition, at time 0, the reward per token is equal to R0, so it will be simply be equal to R0 equals 0. Let's see what happens at 3 seconds. At 3 seconds, Alice stakes 100 token. So, let's compute Rj at 3 seconds. Again, instead of using this formula, we'll be using this formula. Rj at 3 seconds, so that will be Rj at 0. The previous time that reward per token was updated was at R0, so Rj0 will be equal to R0. To this, we add R divided by t. But remember that for the duration from 0 to 3 seconds, the total stake was 0. And we said over here that when total stake is equal to 0, we'll just say that this part of the term is equal to 0. So this will be 0 times the duration, times the duration from 0 to 3 seconds, 3 minus 0. And this is equal to R0 plus 0 times 3 minus 0. R0 is equal to 0. And 0 times 3 minus 0 is 0. This is equal to 0. R3 is equal to 0. Since I have staked 100 tokens, we'll also update user reward per token paid. So this will be equal to R3. Okay, moving on, let's see what happens at time 5. At 5 seconds, Bob stakes 200 tokens. So, let's compute Rj for 5. So this will be R5. This is equal to the previous reward per token will be R3. R3 plus, now notice that for the time seconds 3 to 5 seconds, the total stake is 100, which is greater than 0. So instead of saying 0, we'll apply this part of the formula. So that will be R divided by the total stake for the time interval 3 to 5 seconds will be 100. So I'll divide this by 100. And what is the duration? The duration is from 3 to 5 seconds. So this will be 5 minus 3. And this is equal to R3 is 0. So 0 plus r divided by 100 times the duration 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 
R5 is equal to 2R over 100. Now, 5 seconds, this was Bob who staked 200 tokens. So we will also update user reward per token paid for Bob to be equal to R5. Okay, let's move on. At 6 seconds, Carol stakes 100 tokens. So let's compute RJ at 6 seconds. RJ at 6 seconds, R6, this is equal to the previous reward per token will be R5 plus the reward rate R over what is the total stake between the time intervals 5 and 6. Between the intervals 5 and 6, the total stake was 300. So this will be total staked will be 300. The duration will be from 5 to 6 seconds. So this will be 6 minus 5. And this is equal to R5 is 2R over 100. Plus we need to add this term. So plus R over 300 times the duration 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. So that will be 1. And that is R6. This was Carol who deposited 100 tokens. So let's update user reward per token paid for Carol. And we'll say that this is R6. Let's scroll up and see what happens at 9 seconds. At 9 seconds, Alice withdraws 100 tokens. Okay, so let's compute rewards per token at 9 seconds. R9 is equal to the previous reward per token will be R6 plus reward rate R over the total staked from time 6 to 9. The total staked from times 6 to 9 was 400. So the total staked will be 400. And the duration will be from 6 to 9 seconds. So we'll multiply by the duration 9 minus 6. And this will be equal to R6 is this value over here. R over 400 times the duration 9 minus 6, which is equal to 3. This was Alice who withdrew 100 of her tokens. So let's update user reward per token paid. The new user reward per token paid for Alice is R9. And we'll cross out the previous user reward per token for Alice being R3. Now, using this equation, let's compute the amount of rewards earned by Alice when she's staked from 3 seconds and then she withdrew at 9 seconds. So, I'll scroll down and let's compute the amount of rewards earned by Alice for the time duration from 3 to 9 seconds. The amount of rewards that Alice staked is 100. And if I scroll up, at this point, the reward per token is 9, so that will be R9. And user reward per token paid before R9, that will be this value, is R3. So what we need to do over here is R9 minus R3. Let's write this down over here. So we multiply 100 by R9, that's the current reward per token, minus the previous reward per token, specifically to Alice, this is user reward per token paid, is R3. And this is equal to 100 times, what is R9? R9 is this value. So I'll paste it here. And what is R3? R3 is equal to 0. So over here, we'll say minus R3 is 0. And that is the amount of rewards earned by Alice for staking from 3 to 9 seconds. Alice has staked 100 tokens, and for the first 2 seconds, she was the only one who has staked the tokens, so we divide by 100. For the next 1 second, in total there was 300 staked, and for the last 3 seconds, there was 400 staked. When we add these up, we get the amount of tokens earned by Alice for staking from 3 to 9 seconds. Okay, let's scroll up and see what happens at 10 seconds. At 10 seconds, Carol stakes additional 100 token. This means that the amount of tokens staked by Carol from the duration 6 to 10 is a constant of 100. And now she has staked the additional 100. So from here on, she'll be staking 200 tokens. So what we'll do here is we'll compute the amount of rewards earned by Carol from the duration 6 to 10 seconds. 
and then update the user reward per token pay that we see over here. Okay, so first let's compute R10. R10 is equal to the previous reward per token is R9 plus the reward rate R over what is the total stake from the duration 9 to 10 seconds. If I scroll up, we can see that the total stake from the duration 9 to 10 seconds is 300. So we divide this R by 300 and the duration will be from 9 to 10 seconds, 10 minus 9. And this will be equal to the previous reward per token R9 is this formula plus R over 300 for the duration 10 minus 9, that will be 1. And that will be R of 10. Let's update user reward per token pay for Carol. So this will be R10. And we'll cross out the previous user reward per token pay for Carol. And let's compute the amount of rewards earned by Carol. Again, we'll be using this formula. The current reward per token is R of 10. And the previous user reward per token pay will be this value. And for Carol, that will be R of 6. So here we'll have to do S, the amount of tokens staked by Carol from the duration from 6 to 10 is 100. So S will be 100. The current reward per token will be R10 minus the previous user reward per token paid for Carol will be stored as R6. So 100 times R10 minus R6. So I'll scroll down and we'll calculate the amount of rewards earned by Carol this will be 100 times the current reward per token is R10 and the previous user reward per token pay for Carol is R6. So here we'll do R10 minus R6. Let's calculate what this value is. So this will be equal to 100 times R10 will be this value minus R6. R of 6 will be this value. So this is R of 6, and we'll need to put a minus. So I'll put a minus here, and change the plus to a minus. And let's simplify this equation. I see a 2R over 100 here, minus 2R over 100, they cancel out. I also see 1R over 300, canceling out with minus 1R over 300. And what are we left with? We're left with 100 times whatever that is left inside. This will be 3R over 400 plus 1R over 300. And this will be the amount of rewards earned by Carol at time equals to 10 seconds. Okay, let's scroll up and compute R11. At 11 seconds, Bob withdraws 200 tokens. So we'll calculate rewards per token at 11 seconds and also calculate the amount of rewards earned by Bob. Let's start with reward per token at 11 seconds. So R11 is equal to the previous reward per token will be R10 plus the reward rate R over what is the total amount of tokens staked from the duration 10 to 11. Scrolling up from 10 to 11, there were 400 staked. So this will be 400 for the duration from 10 to 11. So 11 minus 10. And this will be equal to R10 will be this value. To R10, we add R over 400 from the duration 11 minus 10. So that will be 1. And that is R11. Now this was Bob who withdrew his tokens. So let's update user reward per token paid for Bob. The user reward per token paid for Bob is R11. And I'll cancel out the previous user reward per token paid for Bob. Okay, let's calculate the amount of rewards earned by Bob so far. The amount of tokens staked by Bob was 200 tokens from time 5 to 11. Using this formula, the current reward per token will be stored in R11. The previous time Bob either staked or withdrew the token is stored at R5. So the amount of rewards earned by Bob will be 200, the amount staked by Bob. The current reward per token, R11, minus the previous time Bob either staked or withdrew the tokens, will be stored at 5, so that will be R5. So, scrolling down, I'll move Carol's calculation further down. And inside the space that we just created, we'll put our calculation for Bob. The amount staked by Bob is 200 tokens. If I scroll up, 
we'll need to minus r11 from r5. So scroll back down, multiply 200 by r11 minus r5. And this will be equal to 200 multiplied by r11. r11 is this value over here. Minus r5. Scroll up. And r5 is simply 2r over 100. So minus r5 being 2r over 100. Okay, let's simplify this equation. I see a 2r over 100 over here. Minus 2r over 100. So the amount of rewards earned by Bob is 200 times whatever that is left inside here. So that will be these values. And that is the amount of rewards earned by Bob. Okay, let's scroll up. What happens at 13 seconds? At 13 seconds, Carol withdraws 200 token. So again, we'll calculate reward per token at 13 seconds and minus the last user reward per token for Carol. And that will give us the amount of rewards earned by Carol from the duration 10 to 13. So I'll scroll down and let's calculate reward per token at time 13. R of 13 is equal to previous reward per token plus R over the total stake from the duration 11 to 13. The total stake from duration 11 to 13 is 200. So R over 200 times the duration 13 minus 11 and this will be equal to r11 is this value and to this we add r over 200 for the duration 13 minus 11 will be 2. This was carol who withdrew her tokens so let's update user reward per token for carol. Scrolling up we'll say that the latest user reward per token pay for carol is r13 and cross out the previous user reward per token pay for carol. Okay, finally, let's compute the amount of rewards earned by Carol from the duration 10 to 13. I'll scroll up and the amount of tokens staked by Carol from the duration 10 to 13, we can count the number of boxes and it is 200. So, scrolling back down, so the total staked by Carol from the duration 10 to 13 will be equal to the total stake in that duration by Carol, 200, times the current reward per token, that will be R13, minus the previous user reward per token paid for Carol, and this will be R10. So I'll scroll down, and from R13, we minus R10. And that is the amount of rewards earned by Carol from the duration 10 to 13. Let's calculate what this reward turns out to be. So this will be equal to 200 times what's r13 r13 is this value minus r10 scroll up again and r10 is this value over here scroll down we will need to minus this value from the top so i'll put a minus here and then replace the plus with a minus for all the terms. The top is R13 and the bottom is R10. Okay, let's simplify this equation. I see a 2R over 100 minus 2R over 100, 1R over 300 minus 1R over 300, 3R over 400 minus 3R over 400, and 1R over 300 minus 1R over 400. So simplifying this equation, we get this is equal to 200 times whatever that is left inside here is 1 hour over 400 plus 2 hour over 200. And that is the final amount of rewards earned by Carol for staking 200 tokens from the interval 10 to 13 seconds. This completes the example for calculating rewards earned by user using this equation. In the next video, we'll summarize what we just did and we'll come up with an algorithm for calculating the rewards earned by user using this equation.